I'm Patrick Bailey with IQless. Today is May 30th, 2022, and in this video I'm going to show how Prusa Slicer's ability to save STL files saved me when OpenSCAD failed. Okay, let's show some URLs and get right into it. So here's the Nefertiti bust on Cults 3D. This one actually works with OpenSCAD, but the one, some of the ones over on Printables don't, I guess, when they ported them, whatever. There's some gaps, but this one works for me. Uh, and then actually over here is what I put out. I kind of... I was late to the party on this one to put it in the pin holder contest, but I kind of want to make something for the homeschool conference as historical and a pin holder and something interesting. So I did hollow out uh, Nefertiti's um, crown here, I guess, and turn it into a pin holder. The problem was I kind of wanted it to be by herself, but she, you know she's a little off center there with when you put those pins in there and she falls over. So I said, okay, let me make a tray and make it a little more interesting and stick an obelisk out there. So I looked around and I found this obelisk over on Thingiverse, and I'll put a link in the show notes. So I'm using this obelisk. Now, with all that, what I'm trying to do, or tried to do, let me minimize this, uh, is basically this. So I'm in OpenSCAD, and you can import, um, you can easily import objects in there. So I imported Nefertiti, did kind of a negative space with some hulls. So there's actually a couple of spheres in here that actually remove all that stuff. And I did a couple tweaks to get it just right. And then I just simply made a simple little tray around her, and I thought for just for something interesting to stick this obelisk on the back. Now in the preview mode, it looks just fine. But when I go to render it, Nefertiti renders just fine, the tray renders just fine, but the obelisk goes away. And as you may know, with some of the, if you've seen some of my previous videos, uh, in doing some research and poking around, there are some issues with some STL files that just won't properly render. Um, in OpenSCAD because I think they have to be per perfect if they have any error, it's, it's going to have issues. Now there are ways to fix this and I attempted to fix a little bit but eh, it kind of got caught up, didn't work well for me, so I gave up. So I rendered this without the obelisk by default and then uh, to kind of save time and not fight that so much, what I did is I brought into Slicer. So with Slicer, kind of saved my butt, saved, me, saved some time, so I can come in here and drag in Nefertiti with just the tray, so there she is, looks good. And then I can go drag in, let me bring this over here so you can see, drag in just the obelisk. So we can drag it in, and we can put it back here. Now when you do this, you might want to be a little careful. If uh, Me, I wanted to render it positionally just correct. So here if you want to just kind of micro control, you can go over here on the right hand side, and you can really get it precise how exactly you want. I forget what I did, but I, I sat there and got exactly where I wanted. I'll just put it right there for now. That's, that's close enough for this video. And of course now I can render it. I can, um, it's good enough where, it's easy enough where I can do something like this and I can slice it for myself and life is good. However, if I want to share this with anybody, oh, and also if you're doing Nefertiti, you better do some support under her chin or you're going to have problems. Um, but anyway. I, I kind of got off track there. Uh, if you want, if I wanted to share this with anybody as an STL, I, I can't from OpenSCAD, but I can from here. So now that I got this kind of how I want, I can come up here and say File, Export, Export as STL. So export this whole thing, and I'll call it, uh, we'll just call it everything. Everything. Boom. And then I'll come in here and delete everything. And now, over in here, I should have this everything file we just made. And boom, I got everything. So where OpenSCAD failed me, I, I could have fixed it. Probably I could have took a lot of time and gotten this a file, um, this obelisk working correctly. But uh, a little bit of a pain. So instead, in this case, it was much easier just to put it into, op into uh, the Prusa slicer, get it oriented how I wanted, and then just make an STL file that I could share with other people. So that um, saved a lot of time and a lot of headache. And I'm very glad the Prusa Slicer can export things in STL file. And that's how that was done. So there you go. Simple, quick video showing how you can say you can organize things and do whatever you want. And whatever whatever capabilities you have in the Prusa Slicer, you can do it there. And then you can save an STL file to share. So with that, let's wrap this up with a reminder that 3D printing is an engineering adventure that you're on. You can develop your skills and knowledge, and you can take this in so many ways. You can make a business out of this. You can teach others, and you can make amazing designs. So design it, engineer it. I'm currently printing a giant bolt on my i3 Mark III. 
It's about as big as you can get on the i3 Mark III, and it will nearly be—it will be the biggest print I've done at nearly 70 hours, and the biggest volume I've done. It also—I also have a giant nut to print out along with it. I wanted to get a big visual for the homeschool conference, and so it's going to take many, many days to get it out. But I think it'll be an eye-catching thing there.